Hello everybody, this is Den Does Games. Today we're reviewing the Transformers in Robots in Disguise app. And this is the latest update which came out oh, sometime in 2015 or 2016, I want to say. It's been a while since I've played this. But it, it's your basic hack and slash, only with Transformers characters. And for some reason, mine is taking a while to load. But this game has gone through a couple of changes since I played it last. Um, rather, that caused me to stop playing it. One is they changed the format and how you could do combat. And two, they added a gimmicky feature. Crown City County, okay. So, yeah, this is kind of tutorial mode. And the way they changed the combat was originally you could have one, two Transformers characters, two Transformers, and then Minicon. Or not, not Minicons, then you could tag team with the two characters. And you can actually unlock Decepticons as playable characters. You can unlock Steeljaw and I believe Thunderhoof. Okay, the goals for this mission are to complete the mission, obviously. Finish it within 5 minutes and 50 seconds with a score of at least 350 points. And without having to do a continue. Basically that's like, if you get KO'd, knocked out, then you can start over. So yeah, let's do the thing. And Minicon. Okay, those yellow things are convert tokens, which will come into play in a little while. Got a combo going. More convert tokens. I've got a random weapon. Which right now there's only one weapon available to me. And that is the sword. Okay, and there's the convert thing, so. I'm going to be a bit immature and make him do some donuts. <laughs> I'm sorry, yes, that was immature of me, but dang if it wasn't funny. I like making them do that. <laughs> Even though it's not really a bumblebee thing to do, it's more sideswipes thing. Alrighty. And since I have the combo, that's why my score is so high. For some reason, it seems like this mission is... it gets stuck on this mission, I guess. And... so let's do another quick playthrough. It's not letting me tap on that. Why are you not cooperating? Okay, obviously... There it goes. I was about to say, obviously we have a problem, but oh well. Obviously we don't. Yeah, this is... Yeah, 
videos. They've added more tutorial information here, obviously, so. Yeah, Ultra Sparks are the special currency. And you can get those by scanning your Robots in Disguise toys. Um, there apparently is a way around that. But I don't know what all those are. If they are... And I would not advertise them. Because... Yeah, I'm just not gonna. So after we finish this battle... I'm guessing the fourth mission will be the last of the tutorial cards, unless this one is. I'm kind of hoping this one is because, yeah. Okay, that was actually pretty cool. I was not expecting that one. Right now, oh yeah, that was actually kind of cool. And then did a little backflip or flip. Yeah, this game, this game is actually pretty basic basic hack and slash with some added features because of the Polar Transformers. Yeah, 10 combo. I've gotten higher combos in the past. Yay, it's the mine. There's actually a frozen fish power up or weapon. Okay. Yeah, and then there's a free daily prize. Sometimes you win Ultra Spark, sometimes you win Energon, sometimes you just win Power Ups. It varies. And shopping cart is for unlocking characters. I don't have enough Energon or Ultra Spark to unlock him. Switch play Knight doesn't look too different than... Warrior Asia, Titan Changer, Battle Pack, Hero, Hero Knight, Hero Clash, oh, Power Surge, Power Hero, Super Titan. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Combiner? Wow. Okay. So they've added some different versions of Bumblebee as well. 
Um, but yeah, that's pretty much that's how the game works. As you go around Crown City and to do missions, the Septicon Tower is something that you can do at higher level or that. Ah, heck, yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna do that. Maybe in the next review. But for now, this is Dendo's Games, signing off.